All right, well, yeah, let's continue Virtual Boy Warrior Land. On to the second half of the game. <laughs> I was doing my best not to call it Virtual Land Warrior Boy. I promise you I don't have dyslexia, it's just sometimes when you're really tired. <laughs> English can go out the window. Uh, but, yeah. Been having a lot of fun with this one. Oh, you dick! Alright, back to big. What was it, the mole? There we go. I can't go in there. Okay. I do want to try and get through the story today. I'm not going to be able to get the best ending! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the best ending. Duh! <laughs> but... Oh, dude. Put on. Put on the conveyor belt. What happens to you when you're not tired? This looks like fun. Oh, it's a lot of fun so far. But it's from a console that, um... Failed. It's one of Nintendo's biggest failures. So there's a few games that were lost to time on it. If you don't know what it is, it's like the Virtual Boy. It was this thing that came out during the Game Boy era in the 90s. And it was, its whole thing was, uh, like fake 3D, like the 3DS, except it was something you wore on your face. And it was not good. <laughs> People didn't like it. So, it, they got rid of it. Uh, it wasn't even out for a year. A very small amount of games came out for it. But the reason I'm playing through it is because I never got to experience it, because they never sold it in Australia. But also it has a Warrior Land game that is, I guess, lost to time as a result. Like, Nintendo hasn't re-released this. Even though it would have been perfect on the 3DS. Which is what I'm playing it on right now. There are ways to do that now. And it does the full 3D effect and everything, which is neat. But it is, it is a lot of fun. Ah, uh, oh, this is a timing thing. I mean, even though the visuals are just, like, two colors, it's still nice looking. And words can't do it justice, because the 3D effect is kind of lost, but... I am very impressed with how this looks. Given the time it's from. This is from 1994, like, I still can't believe that. Oh, that's not a door. I thought it was. Oh, okay. We can just... Ah, damn it! Oh, the plant. Okay, go. There's gonna be a hidden door behind one of these melons. But its gimmick was like, you can jump between the background and the foreground. And it simulates that in 3D, which is cool. A lot of games do this thing nowadays. Like, this whole... Jumping between the foreground and background. Like, I know the newer Donkey Kong Country games do it. The only thing I'll say is, like, the visuals are supposed to be bright red. Like, to the point where it hurts your eyes. So I changed the color to be more neutral. Like, classic Game Boy look. So... That might be part of the reason it didn't do well. I think the red was a bit jarring. Hmm. It's 
it's not an it's not an easy game either. It's pretty tricky. Some of the bosses have given me grief. I don't know, there's something about, like, the old green that just makes me happy just because of the old Game Boy. I mean, I didn't have the big green. I had a Game Boy Color, uh, but the first time I experienced a Game Boy, my uncle brought over the, uh, the green one, the big one. Yeah, I mean, considering the, the thing you wore it on your face, the red probably would have hurt the eyes. And the picture would have been blurry. That was the biggest problem about it, was just that... I guess they marketed it as, like, something that was similar to the Game Boy, but it was by no means portable. It had a stand, and then you kind of leaned forward into the goggles. It wasn't like a VR headset where you'd strap it on. Like, it was not a portable. It was not a portable at all. It was technically portable. <laughs> like how the GameCube has a handle, that's how it was portable. Like, yeah, you could carry it around, it has a way to carry it around, but I wouldn't call it a comfortable experience. Oh, you can't- oh, this is annoying, you can't take that thing out. I don't have to do that again? Oh. I want... This thing has to go, like, I'm trying to smash this melon. Oh, that's a nice kindness. Oh, this... I'm dying too much for this, I shouldn't be dying. I can't believe you can't just charge into it. Like, really, that doesn't work? Can I- can I stun it? Hang on. Oh, there you go. Quake. Alright, got it. Took me long enough. The main issue I'm having with this is like, because it follows classic Warrior rules, it's not like Warrior Land 2. And I forget just the things that change between Warrior Land 1 and Warrior Land 2. Because this game is, I guess, a middle ground between the two. Like, Warrior becom becoming tiny, that's not a thing that happens anymore. But then I forget like just how powerful his butt is in the earlier game. Should be able to do this now. I love the music in this game just because it kind of reminds me of Mega Man as well. It's like a mix of the two. But yeah, now I've, I've played every single Wario game. Well, Warrior Land game. This is one that I just didn't think I'd ever experience properly. I mean, okay, there was a way to emulate it on PC, but you just wouldn't get this experience. But being able to see for what it was with the 3D effect, yeah. It's cool. Just makes me love the 3DS that much more now. Definitely one of my favorite consoles of all time. Alright, 
I was trying to grab him to throw him into that, but I guess not. Yes! Come here. Oh, can I still get that? Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't mind bull. Oh. Oh, okay. This is what I loved about these games, just being able to break through the stage like that. And find secrets. I probably deserve that. It's okay, there's a backup in the other room. Yeah, alright, cool. I'm back. Yes! Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Ah, <laughs> oh, I was gonna get dragon. I mean, this is still dragon, but not the good dragon. The one that can fly and shoot. Uh, oh. I mean, better than nothing. Melon. Give melon. Melon. Thank you. I knew, I knew what I want now. Ah! Just missed. to play Balatre yesterday. A lot of fun, but it requires a lot of thinking to, to win. Oh yeah, no. It's definitely uh, a game that you have to slow down and think. It's pretty addictive. I've seen people get just insane scores in that game. If you know your poker and you know your, your numbers, you can do well. <laughs> What's Balatro? It's a new card game. It's a roguelike. Um, the rules are poker, but then you have joker cards that give you bonuses based on what you get. So, it's pretty addictive. I was gonna check it out, but after I did a couple things. It's a very good time killer. If you're into your card games. Ah! it spawns it right away. Okay. It has to be just as it appears. The game has also gotten a lot of attention because it's been banned in certain countries in Europe because gambling when it's just a fantasy game. Meanwhile, all these games with microtransactions are still up
Well, loot box microtransactions, not microtransactions. And D and D because you roll a dice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I I I live in Australia. We've had games banned for dumb reasons and inconsistently. And the reason is always, what if a child would get their hands on this game? And the response should always be, well... Isn't that up to the parents to monitor that? I don't know. Why should adults... Wait, really? Oh, I can't go because... Yeah, why should adults be prevented from playing a game that's intended for them in the first place? Because a child might play it. It's like, okay, what happens if a child got behind the wheel of a car? Are we gonna ban cars, or are we gonna go, hey, why why parents allow that to happen? It's a bit of a, like, sore spot for me, that, that topic. There's just been so many games where it's just like, oh man, come on, really? We're doing this again? Us. Okay, um... The most famous one was Left 4 Dead 2, like, it just got censored. They got rid of basically all the gore, and then... It didn't make any sense, because it was like, well, zombie movies still go through, and... Even other zombie games went through. Yes! Good shot. See if I can do it again. I can't wait for GTA 6 to come out because then we get to see the whole people blaming video games thing again. Every time a new GTA game comes out, that's always the case. There's just a, like, a, a media circus around it. You know, I've never played a GTA game properly. I've played GTA games, but I've never played them for this story. Is that weird? I've only really just run around and just... I guess explore and, uh... Just blow things up and try to get away. Or use cheats. I've never really experienced it for its story, ever. Close. You do the exact same? Okay. I feel like I should give it a go and play one of them, properly. Melon, please. Thank you. Come on. Bastard! <laughs> Damn it. 
Okay, okay. This is the one. Please! Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry, that took forever. Treasure! Yes! Worth. Oh, not this thing again. I, ha I hate these enemies. I don't have... I'm not big warrior, so... I don't have the butt stomp. Ah, oh, I'm at the start of the level! Well, I need to make sure I collect coins, because otherwise this en I'm not going to get a good ending. Okay, at least the stage is done. I just want to make sure I collect coins, that's all. Can't have it me finish the level without any coins. On the bright side, all the doors will be open now, so... Oh, you dickhead. Don't you dare. I'm, I'm going to run ahead and take all these bastards out first. I'm not having any of this. <laughs> nope. They are not doing this to me again. to do this room. I didn't get to do it last time because I didn't have the ah, power up. Don't you dare! Okay, there we go. Hidden block. such a tight runway. Unless I need the, the wing item to get across this, it's probably the case. Leave some of that. Oh, you don't get it here. Hmm. Oh well. Keep going. It's fine. Melon. Oh. Oh, not again. Okay. Okay, hold on. Now. Close. Now. Ah! Oh, oh wait, this is done. This is done. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's done. And these things have to go. Okay. Nice. Alright, I'll settle for that. I'll gamble to get coins. Pick a number between one and four.
Pick a number between one and four. That was not the answer. All right, I'll try two for the next one. Two. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll pick a number. Four. Ah! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no luck. Alright, onwards. I still can't believe I couldn't find those two treasures. Whoa. This is cool. It has a 3D effect here. It's okay. It's... It happens. Looks like I can only light it. Whoa. This trippy looking. Uh oh. Oh, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> what a set! Oh my god. Am I even damaging it though? I don't know if I'm damaging it! Ah! Uh-oh. I may have to play the, the life game next time. Just to ensure that I don't game over. I mean, okay, you need... The, the problem is you need the wings to get across, so... Let's see how this goes. I hate this already. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Really? <laughs> That's all it was? Okay. It wasn't even that threatening. Yes! Dragon! Fire! I love this power up. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Uh, at least I got it back. Well, not fully. Oh, that's fine. I am so lost right now.
I hope we're headed in the right direction. The good news is I'm getting one-ups. again. This is this isn't so bad. <laughs> Where am oh wait really? Hold on. No, it just it just looks similar. I don't know, I am lost. Okay, I know where I am now. Yeah, okay, this is where we were. Dude, but okay, but but like, what good was this? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, but ah, you need fire. I don't have dragon. Dragon. Oh, I lost the dragon power. There's got to be a way to get it back. I need my dragon power back. What if it's here? Let's see. Yes! I was right. Alright, cool. Now I just need to go back and not mess this up. Ah, oh, crap. Thank to that, Varna. No worries. Have a good night, please, for the love of God, don't hit me. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Alright, I think I'm good. Nothing's gonna hurt me now. There we go. Nice. Alright. Oh, it's a treasure. All right, good. Treasure acquired. I've been alright at finding it, it's just the damn two stages before that I looked from head to toe, I just couldn't find them. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna guess heading to the right is gonna be the way out. This, like, classic ghost house. Anticlimactic romance book. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit here and play my, my warrior. Oh no, that was not a wise call. I was trying to glide across. Okay. 
okay. Just take the L. <laughs> Ah, oh, it was just treasure. But I guess it gave me two one-ups. I should be fine. There we go. Okay, so if not here... stage is doing me a lot of favors here. minutes to figure this out. The smiley's face is spooky. This is a haunted house, so... Fits in. Have I been in here? This is looping around. What the hell? How do I get out? Oh, all right. Hold on. This new. Oh. Ah. No. Run. No. <laughs> okay. Stop. 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 I almost lost my power up. Okay, dragon, cool. Oh no. Okay, it doesn't die. I don't have the key, are you kidding? This is a problem. Where is it then? It actually kind of reminds me of the boss from Star Fox, the final one, Andros. Kind of had like that same weird face. heck is this key? But see, I, I had been here... Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. There's gotta be some secret room that I'm overlooking. What's back here? This is just the start, isn't it? I swear if it's here. Okay, it's not. But this is another... <laughs> Ow. Okay. It's gotta be something like this. There's gotta be a room that I've overlooked. But I need the dragon power to get, get it revealed. This is... Okay, this is just the entry. What is it with these levels where it's just always a stressful time? I guess when in doubt, just shoot everything.
Where haven't I been? Where haven't I been? There's got to be somewhere I haven't been. This was just... Oh, this was just this. I'm stumped. Did I watch horror movies as a kid? Uh, no. I was never into that stuff. been everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> See, this is where, like, Zelda 1 hasn't ruined me. Is like, stuff like that, where it's not obvious. Zelda 1 logic will kick in and I'm like, hang on. <laughs> okay, we're good. We can get out. But then for simple puzzles, it is admittedly a pain in the ass. I overcomplicate it. But then when it's something like that, I'm glad that I played as much Zelda as I did. Okay, there we go. We're out. Uh, I guess I'm okay with lives now. Alright, pick a number between one and four. Or I'll have to. Four. <laughs> it was- alright, I'll do two this time. Unless you want to change your mind. Ah! It was actually two. Alright, number between one and four. One. <laughs> it was two again. Alright, come on, one more try, one more try. At this point, sunken cost fallacy. Number between one and four. not happy. Ooh, this looks cool. The fire has a neat 3D effect. Oh, no. That sounds like a phone ringing. Stop it! I don't know, this stage looks so visually cool, um, with the 3D effects. This is why I can't ask to pick for you. Well, I'm fine with it. Audience participation is important. It's not like I get upset, it's just... That's how it goes sometimes. Oh, 
Don't you dare! The side is interesting. There's gotta be like a hidden... I almost fell in. Unbelievable. No idea how to get in the background. Oh, what? Okay, this... Ooh, I see how evil this is gonna be. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. This feels like a stage out of Mega Man. <laughs> I'm fine. It's so hard to control sometimes. Okay, go. Drop. Honestly, a Christmas miracle I didn't fall into the fire. Anxiety inducing. Okay, this one I feel like we have to ride up. No, 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 we don't want that. We want. Oh. I, I kind of want to keep the dragon. I'll wait for it to disappear. Hey, Nikto. How's it going? Is it not gonna vanish? It's not gonna vanish. I don't wanna lose the power. Dragon is dragon is good power. I guess I have no Oh wait! What? Yo, what? <laughs> How did I get through that without I'm not sure how I <laughs> I'm not sure how I got through that without losing the dragon power. I guess I flew over it. Warrior's Fate does not uh, acquire items. Yeah, this is why Dragon is important. Alright, I'm out. At this point, again, I don't have all the treasure. Alright, pick a number between one and four. It's okay. I accept the end result. kind of makes up for the losses.
that's always been two. I don't think so. It's definitely been other ones before. Yeah! I keep forgetting about this thing. Can't duck. <laughs> I can't believe it got me. Dude, that looks so jank. Alright. What is this now? This is interesting. Okay, we need to figure out what we need to do here and quick. Aggressive. Ah. Hard. I'm impressed with the bosses in this game. They they are not the simple bosses you get usually. So annoying. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Alright. I get it. That's just a timing thing. Game face on. <laughs> it is like the Elden Ring pop guy, isn't it? Good! Oh, yes, you lose! Lose the health right away! Oh my god. I'm turning off the 3D. It's kind of a liability here. I'm rushing out. I gotta slow down. Alright, fine. 3D goes back on. This is really annoying. Game over on this. I'm 
just saying what the best way to do this is. Oh god, so hard to hit it. I think that's the way to do it. I gotta do the middle. Oh, you wanker! But this, this is the way to do it. So I gotta jump to here. Okay, run to it. Jump immediately. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't wait for it. Oh, I got it. Nice. Good work, good work, good work. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I was one hit away from winning. I'm gonna have to definitely play the one-up game. Hard to hit it. What? <laughs> so, so annoying. Almost, almost sweeped it. Oh my god, I fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. I got it. This is the first time I actually... Okay, 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 okay. I feel accomplished. Good work. Took way too many lives, but... Alright, I'm playing the 1-Up game this time. We're definitely doing the most expensive game. This is tricky. I've gotten better at this. Okay, up. No. I'm after these one ups. Don't bankrupt, just relax. Just relax. Okay, best, best round. I've just recovered all the lives I lost. Good. <laughs> no longer in the red. All right. You know what? For good measure, why not? Okay, pick a number between one and four. Good job! Okay, we exit. 
good. There's a door there. Oh, you need that. Well, that was easy. Um, I wonder... Doesn't look like there's an easy way to get in there. No, you don't! I how to jump into the background layer. All right, keep going. This is a cool looking stage though. Oh, okay. Oh no! That kind of boned me. I don't have the powerful butt anymore. Powerful booty acquired again. Yes. <laughs> One of these has to be fake. Oh, I could have gotten the dragon combo. But I guess that there's no way to know that, huh? I suppose this is useful. but it worked. This music seems very last level like. At least getting there. Ah, there we go. Inducing. Okay, so we have to find that pipe. What is what is this? <laughs> oh, I see. It's like a bigger version of it. Yeah, but okay. Okay. I need to be able to jump into the background! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Get fire. Oh my god, dude. Where do I go? At least this is here. Right, but that's just gonna lead me back down. 
Okay, what am I missing? There's gotta be something I'm missing. But... I don't know where to go! Hey, yeah, yeah, nothing's all right. How's it going? Oh, that's dirty. Yeah. All right, got it. Aha! Wait, is that? Oh, that's full ground. All right, we're cool, we're cool. Now, what were you up to today? Fight. Uh, ha! Slowly finished Talos Principle 2. Oh, cool. I haven't played that myself. Oh boy. See, this is definitely a part where, like, the 3D effect does help a lot. Your brain is fried from puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Oh, boy. <laughs> is this like, am I doing the right thing here? No, but this is just gonna put me back. What do you mean? Uh oh. I'm worried. <laughs> Thanks for gifting I know that sub is a touch yet. One bit. I think I messed up. No! No! Okay, I definitely messed up now. Okay, we're good. We got dragon at least. I was tricked. Oh, I have to go through this again. At least there's contingencies. Okay. I need to look at this carefully. Ah, this is where I messed up. Okay, so now it's... This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Maybe. No, it wasn't. But now I have to go back, don't I? Okay, I think we're nearly at the end of that. I imagine it's that door there that leads out of this, this maze. Alright, this is fine. It'll take a while to figure it out, but I got it.
now just climb. Oh, no. Sorry, it's like the 3D effect is messing with me a little bit here. I mean, when it works, it works. Why, why am I a glutton for punishment here? Oh, but this is just going to send me back. I don't want to go back. Okay, so time again. Pick a number between one and four. Four? Not the right answer. Okay. Again. Incorrect. <laughs> One more try. One. Incorrect. <laughs> no coins. Okay, so I only missed out three treasures. That's not horrible. Oh, you! Oh, every time it gets me! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm never ready for it. Okay. It just doesn't let me fight the boss. It has, it has to take... It has to take... The upgrade. Whoa, this looks cool. It's like the pseudo 3D, this platform. Oh my god. This is really cool looking. I'm guessing you have to bounce on its nose. Oh, good. Yeah, good. 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 Instructions unclear. Alright. We big this time. Alright, I gotta get through this. Come on. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 I can't really see a weak spot yet.
Kata. I need to see how this is done. If this is truly the way that I think it is. Oh, there we go. I got him. I just hit him on the nose like that. Ow, oh, you... Dickhead! Barely hanging in that. No! Oh. Okay, I, I get it. <laughs> I was spamming it too much. Alright, alright, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, good. 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 Ugh. Wait for the fire, wait for <laughs> Didn't know he was gonna do that. Okay, I mean, that's one new move I've learned. I mean, okay, the first hit is a freebie. But okay, like, it's, it's not telegraphed. Fire. No! Oh, God, he got me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the clunky thing is the jumping. I want to jump out of the way, but sometimes it jumps into the background. If this is three hits, I'm pretty close. Always fall. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Oh my god. The reflex. Ah! Oh my god. That fucking destroyed me. I can't believe I dodged that. Like, last second dodge. Oops. There's no shadow that shows where the hand is going to fall. Oh, 
Like, this is just purely a timing thing, I guess. Can you please stop? I fucking hate the... Ooh. It doesn't let you just... Okay. about this fight. I'm so, I feel like I'm so close. Alright, this is the one. Um, victory will happen this time. Why didn't it jump into the background? Alright, whatever. I got it. Motherfucker! Oh, why is it so inconsistent? Sometimes you press jump and it jumps into the background and sometimes it just jumps up. It's not me pressing the D-pad. I think that's the most infuriating thing about this fight, is just... I haven't figured out why sometimes it jumps, and why other times it jumps into the background. Just by pressing jump and nothing else. If it wasn't for that, I would, I would have this by now. Yeah, there, there, it, there, it fucked me. Okay, that's sorry. I got the feeling it's not over yet, though. Yeah, be good. This is quite the fight. <laughs> ah! No, it touched me. Oh, come on. Why did I get the feeling that was gonna it's gonna be six hits and that was that was it? <sighs> that was better, but it's still the jump in consistency thing is, is getting me. I'm looking at how this looks on stream, like on stream. Man, it, it I, I can't describe how much better it looks on the 3DS with the 3D effect. It is so cool looking. It almost got me. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, so we're, we're doing random as random now? You're gonna start doing... Gonna start mixing it up, are we? Desperate to get a hit in. I should have been patient. How did that miss? Lives. Oh, this is not good. I don't want to lose treasure. Two hits. fight is so hard. I'm getting closer to beating it, but I fear that I'm gonna run out of lives. I don't want to lose treasure. I might go gr <laughs> I might go grind lives. I have to get it this time. Cool final fight. I'll... <laughs> I will say that. It's very cool looking. It just fuck me, is it not frustrating? No, wanker! That was so deciding, I can't believe I didn't get a hit. Okay, just 
lot of guy, a lot of guy. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, yes. Please tell me it's over and there's no phase two. With one life to go. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get the best ending, but it's fine. There lies the replay value, I guess. I think I only missed three. So, it's... Okay, he is sad. And it wants 50,000 coins. Okay, now we get the ending. <laughs> Alright, well, I do want to do a playthrough of it where I do better. He looked really sad. Yeah, he didn't get all the treasure. We're definitely gonna play through it, but I'm gonna get coins and I'm gonna get treasure, and it'll be great. <laughs> What's he doing? Bullying the, the creatures of the, of the forest. We gotta do better. So I need to find out where these treasures were. Hey! Took my treasure. Oh well. What is he riding? What is that thing he's riding? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of ending is this? Oh man. Well, you know, we're not done with it. I will continue this again. Just not today, but at least this is the first playthrough of Virtual Boy Warrior Land. This is a really fun game, honestly. And I'll say it again, it's just sad that it's kind of been doomed to obscurity because, well, look, I get that the console itself was a failure, but the games are decent. I don't know. It, if it wasn't for emulation, the stuff wouldn't be preserved and it would be just lost to time, because sometimes companies choose to- they'd rather, like, keep something in the vault than 
let people enjoy it, which... I don't know, man. Particularly with this sort of stuff, it's just super interesting. Just the fact that this is from 1994... ...and just the level of detail it has, it's, it's great. I love it. But, you know, it's one of those things that it was... ...something that was released well ahead of its time. But yeah, it belongs right at home on the 3DS, and it's something they really should have re-released along with the others. But, uh, I guess that's, that's it for now. <laughs> that's cool, I like that. Okay, well that's the initial look at this game. I will continue it again next time, and I will try and go for all the items, as it's not a long game. It's it's pretty short. And uh, I'm kind of curious what the, uh, the ending is when you get all the treasures and you have a good amount of money. So, that's the fun in this kind of game for me. It just reminds me of the first game. And two to some extent, so. We'll definitely check it out. Oh, it's 95, not 94, apologies, but still. Very fun. Anyway, if you've reached the end of the video, and you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you have enjoyed the look at Virtual Boy Warrior Land. If you do want to support the content over on YouTube, uh, the easiest way to do so is just do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up. Any of that stuff helps out a lot, so thank you to those that do that. Uh, but yeah, we'll do one more part of this, uh, where I'll try to get all the, the items. I'm pretty sure I can do it pretty quickly now, because for most of the stages I do have an idea of what to do, so it won't be as long. But yeah, we'll, uh, see ya next time.